to say the Please point. don't let another family go through this. And tonight, a mother now pleased with whoever might have any information about a suspect and a double murder that's still unsolved exactly one year later. At this time last year, police had just found the bodies of 14-year-old Libby German and 13-year-old Abby Williams in Delphi. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker on how Libby's mother is using her grief to help others and honor her daughter's legacy. Libby German's mom held a vigil for her daughter and Abby Williams tonight right here in downtown Delphi in front of the courthouse. She thanked investigators and says she prays every day for justice. If this is about the girls, that's it. We want to find this killer. Exactly one year after police discovered the bodies of Libby German and Abby Williams in the woods near Delphi, Libby's mother said she wanted to help other families coping with loss. You have no idea how hard it is to try to find a grief counselor for this specific situation. Carrie Timmons told those gathered Wednesday night that she'd like to start a foundation in her daughter's memory to help others facing the loss of a family member to crime. But in true Libby fashion, I want to help others and provide advocacy, counseling, alternative means of investigation. Timmons traveled from her home in Kentucky to be in Delphi to mark the anniversary of the girl's murders. I mean, it's a sad day. I mean, I miss her a lot. So it's bittersweet because it's good to see all the community and people that really still care even a year later. Um, I'm just a small town girl. One woman there came all the way from Canada to show her support. She's followed the case the entire year and became friends with Timmons despite the distance between them. Uh, I grew up in a very small town, just like Delphi, and um, this could have been me and my best friend. It could be my daughter and her best friend, and that's what really sticks out to me. Timmons says she worries what happened to her daughter and Abby will happen again. The longer he's out there, that's it's closer to happening again. That's why she hopes someone soon will come forward with the right information. Oh, I didn't think we'd be here a year later. I thought we'd be celebrating justice right now. And since Tuesday's one year anniversary of the girl's disappearance, police say they have received over 300 tips. Investigators have said that they believe someone out there recognizes the man in that sketch and it's just going to take the strength of that one person to call that tip in. In Delphi, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And even as the search for the killer hits the one year mark, Abby and Libby's families have not lost hope that they will get justice in this case. And they're finding ways to spread the word themselves about the case. Libby's grandfather has a wanted poster hanging on the back of his pickup truck. And he and his wife travel to shows and fairs, handing out those same flyers and information about the investigation. And if you know anything that could help police solve this case, you can call the anonymous tip line. That number and the email address that you see on your screen right now are posted for you at WTHR.com slash Delphi.